Mass Readings for Sunday, November 17, 2024 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time Lectionary, 158 First Reading, Daniel 12, verses 1-3 to But at that time shall Michael rise up, the great prince, who standeth for the children of thy people, and a time shall come such as never was from the time that nations began even until that time. And at that time shall thy people be saved, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of those that sleep in the dust of the earth, shall awake, some unto life everlasting, and others unto reproach, to see it always. But they that are learned shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that instruct many to justice, as stars for all eternity. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Response, You are my inheritance, O Lord. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup, it is Thou that wilt restore my inheritance to me. I set the Lord always in my sight, for He is at my right hand, that I be not moved. Response, You are my inheritance, O Lord. Therefore my heart hath been glad, and my tongue hath rejoiced, Moreover my flesh also shall rest in hope. Because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, nor wilt then give thy Holy One to see corruption. Response, You are my inheritance, O Lord. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life, thou shalt fill me with joy with thy countenance, at thy right hand are delights even to the end. Response, You are my inheritance, O Lord. Second Reading Hebrews 10, verses 11 to 14, and 18. And every priest indeed standeth daily ministering, and often offering the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man offering one sacrifice for sins, for ever sitteth on the right hand of God. From henceforth expecting, until his enemies be made his footstool. For by one oblation he hath perfected for ever them that are sanctified. Now where there is a remission of these, there is no more an oblation for sin. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel, Mark 13, verses 24-32. But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars of heaven shall be falling down, and the powers that are in heaven shall be moved. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels, and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Now of the fig tree learn ye a parable. When the branch thereof is now tender, and the leaves are come forth, you know that summer is very near. So you also when you shall see these things come to pass, know ye that it is very nigh, even at the doors. Amen I say to you, that this generation shall not pass, until all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day or hour no man knoweth, neither the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.